this is Chris Long at Lakeview Cottage Kids and I have another tutorial for you today and this one is so super simple it's called the basic background it is just a simple variation on just doing a, a single crochet every row back and forth this one you're actually um, using the single crochet only and it, it is a little bit different and I think you'll like it I will have a dishcloth that you can practice this stitch on and I will be having a baby afghan that you'll be using um, different color variations and this very basic stitch. So this is called the basic background stitch and in order to do it you need to have a uh, you need to chain enough chains to be a multiple of two plus one. So the per for the purposes of our demonstration, I've chained 20 plus one, so 21 chains. Now, what you wanna do to start the very first row is to do a chain all the way across and starting with, or not a chain, I'm sorry, a single crochet all the way across. We skip the first chain and do it our first single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we're going to do basically 20 single crochets all the way across for row one. Now, if you would like to, you could do a foundation single crochet, and I will be adding a tutorial for that in the very near future. So if you'd like to do that, it'll give you a little bit stretchier edge to whatever project you're doing but it doesn't have to be for this. This can just be your chain 21. And the first row are single crochets all the way across. I'm using an H hook for this particular demonstration with Vanna's Choice number four worsted weight yarn. But of course you can experiment with all different kinds of hook sizes and yarn weights. And there we have our 20 single crochets all the way across, just your basic single crochet row. Now, to do the basic background, what you wanna do is chain one and turn. And then what you wanna do is skip the first single crochet and then do two single crochets in the next single crochet stitch. And then you skip a single crochet and two in the next. So to start out here on row two, skip the first single crochet and now do two single crochet in the same stitch. Skip a single crochet and two single crochet in the same stitch. Skip a single crochet two in the same Skip a single crochet, two single crochet in the same stitch. Skip a single crochet, two single crochet in the next. Skip a single crochet, two single crochet in the next. Skip a single crochet, do two in the next stitch. Skip a single crochet, two single crochet in the next stitch. Skip a single crochet, two single crochet in the next. Skip, as we get to the end of the row, skip the, sing, the second to the last stitch, which is a single crochet, and do two single crochet in the last stitch. And there you have your second row. Now, in order to do this particular uh, basic background stitch as a project, you just wanna repeat row two for all of your rows of the project. So row two starts again with 
a chain one, turn, skip the first stitch, two single crochets in the second one. Skip a stitch, two single crochet in the next. Skip a stitch, I'll get a little bit more yarn for me here. Skip a stitch, two single crochets in the next. Skip a stitch, two single crochets in the next. Skip a stitch and two. Skip a stitch, two. Here's what it looks like so far. Skip a stitch, two single crochets. 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 And there we are with our 20 stitches. That's what it looks like. Go ahead, I will be having a, a dishcloth pattern that you can practice this stitch on a small project. And I'll also be coming up with a um, beautiful baby blanket beautiful baby blanket with this stitch and a variation of colors. So enjoy. Take care. Happy crocheting. This is Chris at Lakeview Cottage Kids.